I take you back to last year. The Baltimore Ravens were playing the Buffalo Bills, and it was toward the end of the game, and, and the Ravens, they end up losing in very Raven-like fashion. Uh, it was a very frustrating game, a very heartbreaking game, because it was a game that they had, and then it was a game that they gave away. Um, but at that game, after that game, as a matter of fact, Marcus Peters, um, he was very heated. Very upset, he was very frustrated uh, And he was getting into it with John Harbaugh And it was at that moment where so many Ravens fans They felt like that was the beginning of the end uh, Because while he did remain a Baltimore Raven for the remainder of the season A lot of Ravens fans were like, oh no, the Ravens, they don't forget John Harbaugh, oh, he, he don't forget So they didn't expect him to be back uh, and then when you watch him last year, a question that I had, because obviously last year was rough for him. Marcus Peters was not himself. He was not the worst cornerback in the world, but he certainly wasn't the Marcus Peters that we know and love. Also, a question that I had was, was it because is, is it because he's declining or is it because of him just being back from the injury, him not being fully recovered yet mentally? Uh, so I guess this year we'll see because now he has officially signed with his new team, the Raiders. And let's read the report that came from Jordan Schultz. He said, breaking, Marcus Peters is signing with the Raiders for sources, a four-time All-Pro selection and 2015 Defensive Rookie of the Year. Peters is from Oakland, where he grew up rooting for the silver and black. I'm a Raiders fan at heart, he once told reporters. And I mean, now, I mean, you made it to the professional level, so whoever cutting that check, you're going to be a fan of them at heart. But no, I, I, uh, I do respect it. And uh, I appreciate Marcus Peters. I, I love Marcus Peters for his energy. I love him for that, just his demeanor. I know a lot of people, that's what rubbed them the wrong way, but I appreciated it. Now, it was, it could be a gift and it could be a curse all at the same time. It could be, it could be a gift because it could get into opponents' heads. It could get uh, his teammates, Marcus Peters' teammates, hyped up like, ah, right, yeah, we got Marcus Peters, we riding with him. All right, then, on the flip side, it could be a curse because... It does come with some 15-yard unsportsmanlike penalties. You're going to get those. You sign Marcus Peters if he's on your team, it's going to happen. But hopefully Marcus Peters can get back to being the Marcus Peters of old. Now he'll be a couple of years removed from his surgery, a couple of years removed from the injury. So I uh, do hope that he does well uh, with the Raiders. He'll be getting to play. Well, I can't say he get to play at home because they're not in Oakland anymore. Um, they are, what, Las Vegas, so they're in Nevada, so the Nevada Raiders. But anyway, uh, Marcus Peters is officially – Gone uh, from the Ravens it, A lot of people did Wonder if he was going to be back uh, A lot of people wondered if he was going to return But the door is officially closed on that Now, something on the bright side That somebody pointed out to me uh, a couple of months ago um, They said with well, Marcus Peters When he leaves a team uh, Within a year or two They end up going to the Super Bowl So he got traded from the Chiefs to the Rams Chiefs went to the Super Bowl He got traded from the Rams to the Ravens Ravens went to the Super Bowl. It's Ravens' turn. It's Ravens' turn. So we're going to the Super Bowl, baby. If it ain't this year, which it should be, it's going to be next year. So I'm ready. Y'all, hey, make sure y'all stay tuned. So again, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss, miss none of it. We're going to be celebrating like crazy. But anyway, uh, but shout out to Marcus Peters, though, man. Uh, Marcus Peters is somebody who brings a lot of passion to the game. Uh, he brings a lot of energy to the game, and you need that. You need people like that. Because if everybody was just walking around being all mundane, if everybody just walked around just sitting there, just quiet and whatnot, your team would be, I, I think that the team would be full of a bunch of people who just didn't care if they won or lost. They just didn't care. And Marcus Peters is somebody that shows that he cares. He don't want to lose. He don't want to get beat. Uh, he, he don't want none of that. So he shows that he cares uh, with his, just his emotion. Um, so I think it's a great thing that he shows us. Sometimes it can get a little out of control, but hey, that comes with the territory. Um, but hopefully the Raiders are getting the good version of Marcus Peters, the better version of Marcus Peters, and the Peters that's going to make plenty of plays for them. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm going to be looking forward to watching him play. Uh, I'm going to be having a little eagle eye on Marcus Peters, or maybe I should say a little raven eye on Marcus Peters to see how he does this year. Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. And just like Marcus Peters is when it comes to being a Baltimore Raven, officially now, we out.